State Senator Katrina Robinson appeared in federal court weeks before her scheduled trial. Cameras aren't allowed inside the courtroom, but we talked to her moments after her final report date. She believes the charges she's looking at are racially motivated. When asked why... I've been criminalized for something that normally wouldn't be a criminal activity. And all I've done was try to expand our business, run our business in the best way possible, to uh, grant new opportunities for our students, to expand our reach. She said prior to the charges, she was given accolades for her work and has been trying to help with the shortage of health care workers. Since the indictment, Robinson says she received some harassment, but also support. This attack from the government, I have endured quite a bit, you know, with uh, losses in my finances, as well as the business being stripped of the resources for our students to be able to go to school. And I think people have taken notice for that. I mean, we've had almost a thousand students who graduate from our institution over the past six years, and those students have shown their support. In Friday's court appearance, attorneys argued about which witnesses should or shouldn't appear at trial. Also, over the crux of the case, was the money Robinson spent really hers she was allowed to spend? The government argues there were stipulations that came with the multi-million dollar federal grant from the school Robinson founded. Her attorneys believe... The proof is going to show that she was the sole owner, sole member, sole shareholder of the LLC and later the corporation. And just like everybody who owns a company, if you run a good company and your company makes money, you get to spend it. And it's no different here. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3.